Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the what is DOM API. Now we have a clear understanding about the DOM document object model. We have a clear understanding about that one. Now we will be having a little bit confusion about the DOM API. So let's try to understand about this DOM API in this video. So now we are comfortable that what DOM actually is. So in the previous videos and all those things we have learned what is actually the DOM document object model is and we are comfortable with it one. But the common confusion normally we have is the difference between the DOM and the JavaScript. So this is the common confusion even though the experienced developers, the UA developers or anything have a normal confusion that what is the exact difference between a DOM and the JavaScript. So is the DOM and the JavaScript is one and the same or it is a part is the javascript or the dom is a part of the javascript is the dom is a part of the javascript or javascript is a part of the dom so like this normally the experienced developers also some of the some of them not all so they also have this type of common confusion so let's try to explore this one in other words what i am trying to say is we are trying to understand that is the dom same as the javascript the short answer is no so this is what i am trying to tell so the DOM and the JavaScript is one and the same or the DOM is a part of the JavaScript. So like that if you want to understand is what I want to say is it's no. So the, it's called the short answer is completely no. You need to understand it here. When we have created an application when we are trying to load it the browser first creates the DOM to render the page. <coughs> this is the normal thing. The browser first creates the DOM to render the page and the browser gives JavaScript access to the dom which is a programming language so here the browser does the anything uh, everything sorry it is here the browser does the everything first the browser creates the dom and it will render the page and after the creation of the uh, dom and the browser gives the javascript access to the dom so the browser will give the javascript access to the dom which is a programming language so here javascript is a programming language and for the javascript programming language the browser itself will give the access to the dom access to the dom means it can manipulate it it can read it it can write it it can delete it so whatever you want to do in the dom it can do it the javascript can do it how it can provide it let's see it does so that the javascript can manipulate the dom so why the browser will give access to the dom is uh, why the browser will give access to the javascript is it so that the javascript programming language can manipulate the dom so this is what i want to explain you so we know that on one hand we have a dom and on the other hand we have the javascript engine so that is the main thing what i wanted so now we understood what is the dom and what is the javascript both are in dead both are independent to each other both are different so those are not one in the each other so those are not part of each other also so one on one hand we have the dom which the browser creates it and on the other hand, we have a JavaScript engine. So there is nothing but JavaScript programming language. The important point I want to tell you is that the DOM does not live inside the JavaScript engine. So the important point you need to understand is the DOM does not live inside the JavaScript engine. The DOM is not a part, integral part of the JavaScript engine. Both are completely separate from each other. So both the DOM and the JavaScript engine are completely independent to each other or completely separate from each other but there is a bridge between these both and the bridge is what we refer to as the dom api so here what i am saying <clears throat> the dom and the javascript both are independent to each other but the javascript the browser provides an axis to manipulate the dom to the javascript engine so how it can uh, the how it can manipulate the dom both are independent to each other right the javascript engine and the dom is independent to each other so how it can manipulate the dom is through the bridge so that bridge is nothing but dom api so through the help of this dom api the javascript can manipulate or can access the dom so that is the main thing you want to understand the dom api gives javascript ways or methods to access the dom so the dom api gives the javascript engine the different methods so whatever the methods you will be having i will try to show you so those are the methods it will provide to access the dom it is just connecting the javascript engine to the browser and it allows the two to speak each other 
So here the DOM API, it just connects the JavaScript engine with the API so that it will allow the both the DOM and the JavaScript engine in the browser to speak to each other. In other words, the browser gives us the DOM API. <clears throat> in other words, what I want to tell is the browser gives us the DOM API in order to allow the JavaScript to manipulate the DOM and it gives us the functions like get elements by tag name and create element etc like this. So the DOM API provides the different types of functions in the JavaScript. Those are nothing but get elements by tag name, create element. So these are all the things if you are aware of this JavaScript course and JavaScript thing and all those things, you are, you are aware of these methods also. Get elements by tag name, get element by ID like this. So if you don't know about these all methods and all those things, I would recommend to go through my JavaScript complete course. So there you can understand these all things. <coughs> so these functions, whatever the functions we have seen it, right? So those are uh, get elements by tag name and the create element. These all the things are not the integral part of the JavaScript. Those are not syntax from the JavaScript. These are all provided by the DOM API. So that is the main thing you need to understand. Here, JavaScript is merely just a programming language that the browsers can execute. Here, just understand that JavaScript is merely just a programming language. So it is not other than the art one. So don't think that it is a part of the browser or something like that. It's just a programming language which the browser can execute it. So now obviously we can divide the browser into two components. So now we understood about the basic DOM API, how it is useful. Basically, we can divide the browser into two components. Obviously, there are more than two components. So just I am trying to tell you whatever the concepts that we have learned how to know. The browser can be, we can divide the browser into two components. One is the DOM. So we know that the first component is the DOM and the closest approximate tool is the DevTools Inspector. So the first component, what I can say is, is the DOM and the closest tool is the DevTools Inspector. And the second component is the JavaScript engine. There are different varieties of JavaScript engines present in the market. So the second component I want to tell you is in the browser is the JavaScript engine. So there are different varieties or different JavaScript engines are there. So we can know you already you know about those all things. So one of the most common thing is which is in the Chrome is what is known as the Chrome's V8 engine. So this is one JavaScript engine which executes the JavaScript programming language. So this is the common uh, thing which we normally use it in the Chrome. So Chrome V8 engine. The JavaScript engine is also present in the browser independently of the DOM. So the JavaScript engine is also present in the browser independently with the DOM. So we already know about this one. In order to connect these two to speak to DOM, the browser gives us access to what is known as the DOM API. API means here application programming interface. <coughs> So now we understood about this JavaScript thing and all those things and about the DOM API also, how it acts as a bridge between the DOM and the JavaScript engine, we have seen it. And before closing this one, I want to tell you some more concept that JavaScript is a programming language. So you know that JavaScript is a programming language and you should know that the JavaScript lives in the different environment. What are the different types of environment? We'll try to see. So JavaScript works on that, lives in the different environment. Specifically, we can break down into three different environments. So the, the different environments we can, I told you, right? So specifically, if I want to tell you is commonly things. So three different environments will be there. First one is in the browser, in the backend, that is nothing but the server. And also it, it, it will also lives in the database also. So first, if you want to see the browser means, it is used in all the three environments in different ways. And there are different rules and there is a different syntax for the different environments. So JavaScript can be used in all these three environments. And depending on the place where you are trying to use it, so there are different rules and different syntax available in that one or in the different environment. So this is all about the DOM API thing. Hope you understood about this DOM API and the difference between the DOM JavaScript engine and also the DOM API, how it plays a bridge between the DOM and the JavaScript engine. If you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.